Welcome back, you two. Well, we're still dealing with the ground challenge issue. Many of y'all have pointed out that my gauge of wire on my ground is too small and possibly where I had the screw was not attached to the metal. Um, my feelings on that were good. I agree with the ground cable, but I was drilled into the metal cross member but it's still a small screw and it was right here so what i've decided to do is i've already drilled a quarter inch hole and i came up from the bottom up and so i went straight through the angle iron cross member straight into the floor and i'm going to put a quarter inch bolt sticking up and make basically a, a ground stud here that is straight to the frame straight up here and then everything will be attached to that ground stud right here so on to the show i've got the hole drilled now i want to get it ground down right to the, the shiny clean metal so here's my quarter inch hole right here that i've drilled straight through this angle iron straight through the uh, the wood floor here and it's this has all been painted around here so in order to get a good ground i want this to be nice clean metal i'm going to put the bolt through it and then we'll paint it over everything once the metal to metal contact has been established i'm going to use my simple hand grinder here my angle grinder to shine up the metal on the angle iron now you can see the difference all oh, this is nice shiny metal here Put a bolt through it, make sure that bolt is bare metal. And so you've got a bare metal to bare metal and a great ground here. After I get it all tightened up, then I'll come back and paint over this with some black paint to keep it from rusting as easily. The next step is I've got my choice of quarter inch bolts here that I've got. This is a quarter inch 28. It's a fine thread bolt, which I like. This is a quarter 20 carriage bolt. I like this too. I like this because it's threaded all the way down. I don't like it because of this square part here. I don't have a spot on the frame that is adapted to that square pot part. So I would be tightening a nut down to pull up against the frame and it would be on this box. I like this for the length and the quarter tw 28. However, this part here that's not threaded could cause me a problem and when it goes through the floor in the angle iron by not getting tightened up here. So this is a concern for me because of this space right here. I'm gonna go with the quarter 20 because it's all threaded all the way down. Now you can see the quarter inch 20 bolt sticking up through the floor. So the other side is directly to the clean frame. So this is a really stout ground and I'm gonna put, so I'm gonna put a regular, I've got the stop nut on it right here, a lock nut. First, that's a lock nut. And so that's gonna stop it from uh, becoming, uh, it's gonna lock it in. So uh, I'm putting a regular nut on it now. A regular quarter 20 nut, just spin it down, put a washer on it. And now I can put all my grounds on it. One, should be three, there's two. Now we got two on there, and the third one, mm, there it is. Got a third one that's going on there, so now we have three grounds on there. I'll put another flat washer on it, and then I'm gonna put a stop nut on top of that to keep them all locked down. The cool thing about this is I have plenty of room to add more grounds if I need to. All right, now you can see I've got a stop nut on it, washer, another washer, regular washer, and another stop nut. So all this is sandwiched in, all brand new fresh metal. Um, it's all locked in, all right, super ground. So I've got the massive ground attached, hooked to the inverter like I'm supposed to. Got the inverter turned on, green light, and still got open ground. So as you can see, our my trailer is sitting on 
four jacks, but I have the wood blocks underneath the jacks. The jacks can't be on soft ground. It's not gonna level anything out. And I also have the, the, tra the trailer sitting on the tires. So it's not gonna be grounded that way. So the next step would be to attach a ground strap to the frame and put a spike in the ground of some kind. So maybe if I try that, then there will be some ground uh, on the 12 volt side. We'll see, more to come. Thank you for watching, appreciate it. all the advice and the tips, and we'll just try.